Hi, this is John Miskos from Tinker Electric. Uh, today, I thought I would share with you one of the jobs uh, used to put together prototypes. So basically, in this particular job, I need a 2.5 mil headphone jack. Um, here, I've uh, picked out one that I, I want. Um, basically, I've ordered a larger quantity from Mouser, a small quantity from RS, uh, mainly because RS is close to me, given that I'm in Australia. Um, but basically, you pick um, both depending on price, really. So this particular part uh, accepts the jack, um, has got a couple contactors. And now I need to bring that into my schematic or into my PCB, so the, the layout where all the electronic components go. So the problem is it doesn't exist in my uh, current library. So what I'm going to do is bring it in. So this is basically just going to be a short video of me bringing in this part um, just so that you understand um, and can do this for yourself. So first things first, what we need is the footprint or the data sheet. So here is uh, the connector itself and what do you know? bit of a data sheet going here. So we've got all the dimensions, but this footprint is the thing that we're after. So what we're going to be looking for, I just want to make confirmation about um, uh, ones in inches and ones in millimeters. So if I say, for example, well, this, this is fairly obvious. Um, there's four millimeters and it's point uh, like you know 0.15 of an inch so we can always check that uh, four millimeters two inch 0.16 you know practically practically correct um, so that's the thing that we're going to be focusing on and that we're going to be replicating in eagle so let's go ahead and do that so if you bring up eagle open up the library that you're wanting to put it in and since it's a completely new component we're going to actually the headphone jack is probably not a new component so we can probably um, source that from somewhere else so if we go to if we were to place a part So this is basically me finding out which um, place I can get this from. So this looks about right. So here is um, the collar, uh, the two connectors. And in this particular case, we've got um, two sensing uh, pins. So basically it detects when you've put the headphone jack in. So we're probably not going to need that, um, especially, I, uh, well, since I already know that the model that I've got is this one here so you can see there's no no double sensing pins but we can adjust that so the time saving here is that this symbol is already created we're gonna have to create this one from scratch but we might as well nick it from this one so it's Adafruit stereo jack see if there's anything else yeah, much of a muchness right Adafruit stereo jack and, and you can see they've got the same symbol there, so they've probably done the same thing. So, if we now go here, and we have to go find it in the Adafruit one. I'm a little bit blind, even with these glasses. So if we open that up, and we can open up the symbol, which was, I believe, stereo jack, S. Now we'll check it through the device instead. Stereo jack. So we've got this symbol here, and that's actually a part. So it's ks-s symbol so that's what we need so if we go back to the symbol ks uh, so k 
S dash S. So here it is here. So if we go group, go cut, right click, cut group. So now uh, we've effectively, um, we're holding this part and now we need to go to the library that we want to dump it into. So going back here, I go to my Tinker Electric library. Do, do, do. Open that. Uh, create a new symbol. Uh, let's make it... Con uh, stereo jack, maybe. Yes, you want to create it. And then you can go... Paste. So what's good about this is we don't always necessarily have uh, these connections, but we can leave them in there um, and then just not connect them depending on what part that we're after. So now that we're done with the symbol, uh, we can have a look at the package. And so this package is going to be um, specific to, to this one. So we need something that is um, a little bit symbolic of of what this name is so uh, if we take just the start of start of these uh, or we can technically they're all going to be the same we'll just name it this particular one for now change that later uh, I'd be more comfortable with that though MD SMT so now we need to recreate this footprint so there's there's basically three major parts to it one is uh, the pads so we need to do those. Uh, the next is uh, the outline, and the next is the um, the alignment holes. So let's start with the pads. And so let's see if there's, you know, if we're referencing from a central node. You can see it's sort of a lot of it is from there, um, and maybe we can maybe we can just do the same so we'll make so basically on eagle the um, the center is zero zero and everything's measured from there and we're going to be using well i personally uh, use millimeters um, because i am australian and inches are just weird so let's see if we can do this so this might take a little bit of time but you will get the concept and
So that's it done. Uh, might want to just go back and adjust this so it comes up a little bit nicer. But other than that, it's complete. Cool. So this is John Miskos showing you how to create an eagle part uh, from scratch from a datasheet.